So these are the rolled oats that I'm using and I added a half cup of oats, a half cup of unsweetened almond milk and water and now I'm sprinkling in some cinnamon and nutmeg. I also added a pinch of salt and now I'm adding two tablespoons of agave and then decided to add one more tablespoon because I thought it needed to be a little bit more sweet. And now I'm adding some frozen blueberries and pouring the oatmeal on top. And topping it with some sliced banana, sprinkle of cinnamon, walnuts, and peanut butter. So I got this Four Sigmatic Mushroom Golden Latte Mix for Christmas in my stocking stuffer, so I want to give it a try. It's creamy plus turmeric. This is just the one I wanted to try. It does have that turmeric taste to it, but creamy, just like it says on a packet. I'm telling you, this is seriously the best way to make oatmeal. I used to use Trader Joe's maple brown sugar oatmeal. And I started making my own because it's just better for you. You can control how much sugar you put in it. I know a lot of YouTubers make oatmeal for breakfast, but it really is a healthy, delicious breakfast. Oatmeal is really good for you. That's why I try to make different things, but sometimes just comes back to good old oatmeal. I need all of this stuff to make it good. The bananas, the peanut butter, cinnamon, the walnuts, the blueberries. So I have a small little healthy grocery haul right here. I love these Nature's Bakery fig bars. They're so good. I have blueberry ones. And they were like $2 and some change. And they're normally like three, almost four. Got some nutritional yeast because I cook with this a lot. Chickpeas, spinach, some marinara sauce because I'm going to make some lasagna. Mushrooms, some fresh basil, potatoes, lettuce, avocados, garlic, green onions. Some zucchini for my lasagna, cinnamon, got some gluten-free pretzels. These pretzels are really good, they're very crunchy. And some lasagna noodles, gluten-free lasagna noodles. I also went to this place called the Spice and Tea Exchange. And they have a bunch of really cool teas. Black tea, green tea, a bunch of different unique flavors. This is strawberry. Strawberry Meadows green tea, and it has orange pills in it, currants, safflower, rose petals. And this is an Ethiopian spice and a garlic spice mix. So for lunch, I had a salad. Put on some lettuce and now I'm topping it with some spinach, some tomato and onion, and chickpeas. And I also crumbled in some of this vegan feta cheese, which is absolutely delicious. It's by Biolife and I got it from Whole Foods. It's so, so good and I actually like it better than regular feta cheese. It's more creamy and it's just good. You gotta try it. And now I'm topping it with some Italian dressing and some carrots.
And for dinner, I had these chipotle seitan strips with some rice and spinach. So I'm using some leftover rice from yesterday, so I'm just adding this Ethiopian Berbera seasoning on it. It's really, really good. I got it from Whole Foods. It adds a lot of flavor to dishes, and it has that cinnamony, you know, spice type of flavor. So yeah, I'm adding that and just setting that aside. And I'm adding a little bit of oil to the pan, and I'm going to saute some onions. Adding some salt and pepper. And halfway through, I'm going to add these chipotle style seitan strips by Sweet Earth. And I also added about a teaspoon of minced garlic. And I'm adding two tablespoons of coconut aminos. And I'm just going to let the onions caramelize and it will be done. I removed the seitan from the pan and added two handfuls of spinach, add a little bit of water to help it cook down, and then I sprinkled on some sea salt and added a little bit of minced garlic. I tasted the original seitan strips before. I like them, but um, but I definitely like these chipotle seitan strips because it has its own flavor to it. Mm. It's a good, you know, alternative to meat if you want something that has some more texture in your food. This would be good for a fajita. Or like a chicken salad. I made Philly cheesesteaks with this before. And I mixed it. I mixed it with the mushrooms. Okay, that is it for today's video. I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Wait. <laughs> and you can follow me at Nam Nam to Fitness on Twitter or on Instagram. Bye bye.